Hello, my name is Garx82, and welcome back to our Greg Tech New Horizons series. Uh, last episode, we went ahead and got a couple MV machines, namely the Electrolyzer and the Extruder, uh, mostly to help with getting some resources. A lot of the resources are kind of not gated, but very difficult to get before you get an empty uh, Electrolyzer. Um, and that will make getting uh, aluminum, uh, lithium, silicon, just to name a few, much, much easier to get. So that is pretty cool. And the extruder as well also makes getting certain things much, much easier. Uh, better ratios. One of them is rotors, because holy cow, are those annoying. Um, but with the MV extruder, I can just put five ingots in, in the extruder shape and get a rotor as opposed to, whoops, that's not what I wanted, as opposed to doing it like that, or even like that, which is also kind of annoying because you need the molten soldering alloy. So just being able to put the five ingots there, uh, a thousand times easier, because um, as we know, these, well, not that one specifically, but... Uh, the rotors, so the bronze rotor is used in the pumps, and pumps are, we use a lot of pumps. Uh, so yeah, that's why I kind of wanted to push for that. Um, having said that, now that we have an MV turbine, it's a bit hard to see, but there's an MV turbine underneath there. Uh, it makes, when everything is running, we drain our steam very, very quickly. You can hear our steam escaping up top because we're not actually running anything at the moment. It should probably have... Uh, I only have one aluminum. I need to get more aluminum. Uh, also, I need a circuit in there. Circuit of one. Pretty sure... Uh, it's one and ten if you want to do it with... Let me just double check. Not that it really matters at this point but uh 11 so it's a 1 in 11 1 means no fluid and if you want to give it some sort of gas or something like that um it cooks faster less eu but uh yeah getting that is not the easiest thing especially like this <laughs> so anyway uh what do we want to do today i think now that we went ahead and <laughs> chopped down a million fir wood, leveled up our lumber axe, which, by the way, I could have sworn I used this in my first playthrough, but apparently the 3x3 one does not work on the charcoal. I could have sworn it did, but uh, yeah, so that one works, as we can see. Uh, both... Same to a level, to a level dented, to a level dented. So unfortunately, yeah, that just does not work. I'm just going to place that back down there until I need to deal with that. But I'm thinking I want to get automated charcoal set up as much as possible. And yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking today. I'm trying to decide where I want to, not the blast furnaces, the coke ovens, kind of decide how I want to go about doing this. And I'm thinking maybe having like a big basement. Is that what I want? I think that's maybe what we want. But uh, in order to get that, I'm going to need a ton, I mean an absolute ton, of coke oven bricks. Uh, I mean, they're not difficult at all to get. It's just clay and sand, which is easy. So I need to go farm a whole bunch of that. Debating whether I should craft up a 3x3 excavator. Kind of thinking I should, to be honest. Um, but I have not decided yet. 
So let me kind of figure out what I want to do. I think we're going to take a pause in progression just for today, I think, uh, and work on, yeah, work on getting our steam up because moving forward, uh, silicon bulls require a lot of power to smelt in the blast furnace. We see a million. Um, I don't have anywhere near enough to smelt that. So I think uh, getting that up and running, I think, uh, will help. So let me kind of do some planning here, and we'll come back. So I have gone ahead, and I did go ahead and craft up a steel excavator. I did steel rod and steel head with an alumite plate. Now that aluminum is not that bad to get, I just did aluminite again. And then obsidian for the reinforced three. Even though it lowers the durability a bit, I think the reinforced three is actually worth it. Um, yeah, so that is that. And you may notice I'm on top of a mountain here. <laughs> you might be wondering, what the heck are you doing up here? Uh, the top of this mountain, or not necessarily the top, but mountains uh, are a really good place for clay. We go and then yeah as we can see this is all on the outside of this mountain is all clay and these are i believe these pulverized down into yeah one full clay dust whereas the the other ones uh, break down into like the tiny ones the uh not tiny but the uh the other clay blocks, when you break them, they turn down into like single pieces of clay, which is a bit annoying. Whereas these break down into full pieces. So I am just going to go ahead and mine a heck of a lot of clay. I need to kind of do quick math. I think I need 23 more. Let me think. 20, I think 23 more Coke ovens. And they have 26, 26 blocks each. So each one is 26 blocks. I need 23 more. So that's 23 times 26, 598, which means I need times four. I need like 2,400, 2,400 Coke oven bricks here if I want to do 23 more Coke ovens. So yeah. That's uh, that's a lot of sand and a lot of clay. Uh, I need to uh, get going here. So I'm probably going to like mine off. I don't even. I don't. That's a lot. I'm just going to spend a bunch of time mining the top of this thing off. And we will come back in a little while. Okay, we are back. I got a whole bunch of cyan stained clay did a pretty decent number on the side of this mountain um but uh what is that I just noticed that's not uncovered that's a bit weird but uh all right so we're back at the base um i did notice a slight issue and that is the coke oven bricks actually need i'm probably going to do this recipe because it's a better ratio if we do a this it's three clay to three bricks plus five sand. If you do it the alloy smelter way, it's one clay gets you two bricks. So you get double the amount per clay. And I realized you actually need regular clay, the Minecraft clay to do this. But uh, this cyan stained clay unfortunately pulverizes down into clay dust. But we can turn this back into regular clay if you use a mixer. So I may do that and I may go out and get some more clay as well, just to kind of help a bit because one, it is super easy. This is all, this whole thing is like clay, not the whole thing, but there's just so much clay. I mean, this took me like 10 minutes, like not even to get how many stacks of clay <laughs> and my categories. So, it's kind of a trade-off. I can get so much clay really easily, whereas this is a lot more sporadic. 
obviously, and it's kind of annoying because it's in water. Like that looks like clay. I know there's clay like right next to the base too. Right there, there's some clay, but uh, it's much harder to find. So I think I'm going to do both kind of thing, but uh, we may notice there is a lot of clay and I have to pulverize this all down. So I kind of, uh, trying to just figure out what would be an easy way to automate this. And I figured I'd give it a try. Um, just cause it's kind of fun. Uh, the one issue that I have now is that I have the steam going in the bottom, so I can't use hoppers unless I rearrange all this. And I was like, nah, let's not do that. We've done that before. Why don't we try using some Greg tech item pipes and some components. I crafted up a extruder shape, um, which is casting form plus four molten steel. We're gonna need this eventually. Probably didn't need to do this one of the first ones, but now that we have aluminum, it's much easier to get these blank casts. So I'm not overly worried, uh, but we're gonna have tons of those. So there is a small tin item pipe and we're gonna see if this works. I don't actually know if it works with the, the steam versions, to be honest. Um, but I just haven't converted it to electric yet. I do need a screwdriver, and we're going to try this to see if this actually works. I don't know if it's going to work, like I said, with these. So we'll put the screwdriver. We'll click on that little bottom square that puts the conveyor on it. You can't place directly on these, unfortunately. It's They're specifically designed to not be really automatable. So that's why I was kind of wondering if this is going to work, but uh, we do import. I'm actually going to want to do import and export. So let's see if we can get that import. Import allow output is what I want. Is that what I want? Yes. All right. So basically what that means, this is on the pipe. It's allowing you to it's going to pull into the pipe so import allow output means it's going to pull into the pipe but it's going to allow stuff to go the other direction and what we're going to do is put this conveyor on there connect that pipe and we will do the same import allow export so it's going to pull from the chest into the pipe and go through into the mace way in theory if not, I may have to craft up an electric one because I know these, that would make it actually a bit easier to be honest. But uh, I just figured why not, let's give this a try. All right, so if we do this, there we go, that ended up in there. What is if we do that? Is that gonna allow us to do that? All right, hmm. It looks like, man, that sound is going for a long time. Looks like maybe it's not allowing me to pull into the pipe. Um, I'm curious if, do I have an extra? I wanna see if it's the Mace Raider that's not allowing or is it something else? I forget that's kind of a slow recipe actually. Uh, I could have just done the Man, I, it's been a while since I've done the... It's one flint and... Right? It's eight wood and one flint. Man, it's been a while since I've crafted one up manually. No, it's wood. That's right. That's why it's so much cheaper. That's right. It's four planks and four things. And I actually don't have any planks on me. We'll just wait for that. So, yeah. We'll, um... Ironically, by the time this is all done. Uh, yeah. Uh, so let's see if I do this. Okay, I don't know what just happened. <laughs> let's try that again. All right, so that. Is it like jumping back and forth now? Is that... No, there it is. All right. I just remembered. So it probably was actually working, but these are only, these are very slow. I just realized that. So maybe that will actually work. So I'm gonna do that and do that. Let's 
see if that does that. These conveyors are only one every 20 seconds. That might be the reason it's not that. Um, yeah, one every one stack every 20 seconds. Although it doesn't seem to be pulling the the clay in, unfortunately. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's working. Although the other stack, <laughs> that's that clay like disappeared. So I don't know where it went. I'm just kind of curious. Did I maybe not do something right with this? Import, allow output, right? Yeah. That one does not seem to be working. Because it should be... If anything, it should be going into this chest. Unless I did something... No. I don't think these have shutters on them, no. All right, there it goes. Hmm. Let me try that again, and we'll see if this works. Oh, there it goes. Is it? Ah. I wonder if these item pipes only allow one item in it, one type of item in one direction. Is that maybe what it is? Maybe that's what it is. I am not sure though, but I don't know. We'll throw a whole bunch in there and see what happens. We'll come back in a bit. Okay, so I had to split them up. I realized what was happening was it was inserting the clay or whatever in there, and then it would try to insert the next batch. So it would fill it up to 64, and then something would be sitting in the pipe. Um, like, and not, um, it wouldn't allow the opposite direction to go because the pipe was clogged, technically. I think that's what it was. Um, I'm not entirely sure, though, because it's not showing there's something in the pipe. Like, right now, there's obviously not something in the pipe, but, yeah, see, there it is. It is stuck in the pipe, so it's not going to allow the clay dust to go the opposite direction. So, what I did was just split it off. With the chest that we crafted up, I had to move this over because we didn't have enough room. I needed another side. Um, but there that is. So now I need to turn it into the clay. So we'll just go over here. Now we are just producing, as you can see, we're producing like, I don't know, one millibucket more or a couple millibuckets more than we were using for the eight solar boilers. Uh, but... Yeah, we are just using it just enough. And when it rains, we actually produce more. Um, also, I was just double checking. Those are at full output. At the top, you can see 360 out of 360. Um, that will start dropping. But it's it's like after like quite a few real-time hours. I think it's like at least 24 hours, it seems. So I'm going to take some of this. And I just got to be careful that we don't have explosions. But... We should be good. This will slowly fill up, especially when it rains. So maybe if it rains again, I won't sleep through the night. I usually sleep through the night because of the sound. But maybe I should let that fill up. Or, you know, I could just craft up another one, which uh, I might be doing sooner than later. All right, so this, we got to turn this into clay. Now, this is a little more involved than I, <laughs> I kind of thought this was be, to be honest. I didn't realize. I could have sworn... I could be wrong, but I could have sworn I remember crafting up all the coke ovens with using the stained clay, but I maybe I'm thinking of the blast furnaces. I could be thinking of that and the fire bricks. Because these use clay dust. That might be what I'm thinking of. But oh well, this is kind of fun actually. We're having to do this. Now I need to craft up more of these for sure. But I'm just kind of trying to put that off until I get a circuit assembler. Also, we're going to need these conveyor belts in the circuit assembler. That's another reason I didn't mind crafting those up. 
because uh, this actually requires two. So I was like, oh, I might as well use them now, and then we can do that. So I think it was a circuit two, right? It's funny I'm making like vanilla clay here. Yeah, circuit of two. Uh, it is going to go through a ton of water, though. That's my only concern here. If we're doing like a thousand of these, that's gonna that's gonna tear through this coal or this my water. So I maybe need to come up with a, a better thing here. Although I don't know, we'll see. All right, and it's pretty quick. So if we think about it, that's six fire bricks. 12 fire bricks. 18. Like, we're actually... It's actually going pretty quick here. I might not... I don't know. We'll see how many I need. I did work out that I need, like, thousands. 2,000 or something of them. But, uh, alright. I need to go get clay. Not clay. I need to go get... Sand. Now... Sand... I need to find a desert. I'm thinking maybe I'll try up here. This seems to be more wet down here. I don't think going that way with all the snow is good. I think we need to maybe go this way. And maybe down. So I'm going to go explore a little bit. See if I can get a desert. Because trying to get hundreds of blocks of sand from these tiny little things. And in the thing, yeah, not so much fun. So I need to find a much better place for this. So... We will be back. And I found an area that's a little bit better for sand. There is quite a few kind of sand patches around. But uh, I feel like I'm surrounded by like ice. I basically went up the rivers and there is ice like everywhere. I came across here. I found this like weird mystic grove biome. I don't know if there's anything special about that, but never seen that one before. But uh, yeah, I was heading back to this river and found some pretty large patches of sand. So uh, I, yeah, I ran back, emptied my bags. I should have done that before I left, but <laughs> now we're back. And I am going to mine up a bunch of sand. So it looks like it's really only like the top layer, which is a bit annoying. But it's better than what I was doing before. I mean, this is actually a decent amount. Man, I need a magnet. <laughs> is there an early game magnet? I don't remember. I don't remember which mods. I think Ender IO, but yeah, I'm pretty sure we are not ready for that. Alright, so I mean, there's a bit more sand here than I was realizing, although it does feel like only the top layer, so I feel like I'm getting a heck of a lot of dirt as well. Um, I don't know how much of this we're going to need. If anything, we get two... We get two sand per... or two coke oven bricks per sand. I could probably even... I'm thinking about it. We might be, oh, it's smooth sand, so it's not. I was thinking maybe we could pulverize cobblestone down. I've gotten a ton of that from mining. All right. Well, that's actually a decent amount of sand, to be honest. I already have almost three stacks. So, thinking. I'm going to finish doing this and. We'll meet back at the base. Uh, I don't think we need to go over how to craft up coke oven bricks anymore. Um, but I just kind of wanted to point out. If you're playing on the seed where I am getting some of this stuff. So we'll be back. Okay, so quite a bit of time has actually passed. I am crafting up some of the coke oven bricks. It's actually not going as bad as I thought it was going to be, to be honest. Uh, it felt like it was going to be a lot worse. Actually, I don't need to do that the same ratio to that there's absolutely no reason to do that four to one and then four to one yeah there's no reason to do that for a 15 second recipe um so i've been trying to figure out how i want to 
do this. And I think what we're going to do is place everything on the roof. All my steam stuff, I think, will be on the roof. I think I was going to empty out like a basement underneath and do rows of coke ovens, I think. I think I want to get everything on the roof. I'm eventually going to have this on the roof. Um, actually, pretty soon here I'm going to be moving this. I think. And then we'll kind of make this floor and I'll probably end up... I don't really want like a... a big giant rectangle. I don't know. Um, but I think what we're going to have is... The, the steam tank underneath will probably be like over here maybe and i'm gonna do a max size one <laughs> just because just because i don't think there's any reason to have a max size steam tank but you know what heck with it i am i'm gonna make a full size here steel tank so a nine by eight it's going to be absolutely massive and completely overkill, but you know what? I want to do it. So that's kind of the ultimate plan. I think I'll kind of put it like maybe over here or something like that. So I think I'm going to start maybe in this corner. Maybe... Maybe like here. I'll probably break that and then expand the wall up. Don't think it's going to be super attractive. It's going to be like a big box until I get my final build, which I will probably kind of start doing around IV age is kind of what I'm thinking. Because once you get to there, you start getting your A system up and running autocraft everything you can really get some cool final kind of like design builds kind of going so i think that is that so now i do need a that i saw some light on the top of that yeah that and what we're gonna do is this we'll do like rows and rows with them. Now I'm thinking 24. I'll do four. I'll do three rows of eight, I think. I'm going to stack them on top of each other as well. So this is going to be pretty tall. So I'll do another three and then another three on top of that, I think. No. No, we'll do another row on top. Yeah, we'll do that. And then... I'm going to pipe out and pipe in all the stuff we need for... Oh, I actually have more. <laughs> I didn't realize I actually had more in my inventory. Um, eventually we'll have elevators too. Yeah, so I'm thinking... We have plenty of room for four, I think. So like that is what I'm thinking. Making this overly complicated here. A bit hard to <laughs> build this up in the air. That's why I was issues. All right, so there. Put a thing there, I think. All right, so that's what I think we'll do. Yeah, now I need to pipe the stuff in, and I think we're going to do... First of all, I'm going to need to... Uh, We want to do this. This is gonna. I think this is gonna take a couple days for me to get this actually, because I'm gonna want to get a wood farm as well. That'll be the kind of final 
final piece, I think. So, yeah, we're going to do this and then I think we'll do it's getting dark. We'll do um We'll have, we'll have a few, a few minutes. I always do that. It always looks like it's dark enough. Come on. Why are you? <laughs> I mean, doesn't that look dark enough to sleep? Yeah, there we go. Uh, I think we'll do... And that's a lot of conveyors. The easiest way would be conduits, but I'm pretty sure we can't do conduits yet. MV assembler, we can't. But electrum, yeah, pulsating, we need ender pearls. All right, let me do a little more crafting up here. I need to just kind of get this run in and I turn more clay dust into clay. Got a whole bunch of stuff here. Okay, I built another one and I actually raised it up one because I wanted to do a quick test here and see one. I'm pretty sure the fluid wooden pipes are fine for creosote. I'm pretty sure, but uh, I could be wrong. Now, I think I'll probably just do from the middle. And did that pull out the creosote? All right, so that did not automatically export the creosote. I was kind of hoping it would. <laughs> not going to lie. Uh... So, that's the case that changes things. I don't need to have them raised up unless, let's see, does this work? Does this, this doesn't pull out the, all okay. right. So coke ovens do not automatically output. That's what I just wanted to double check. I, I couldn't remember if they did. I didn't, I didn't think that was the thing. But uh, I just wanted to double check, and I figured, why not? I would just record while I was checking, and then we could... You would know if you were... Uh, curious. And, alright, so I think we'll do... I'll just do what I was going to do before. Um, that does mean I'm going to have to craft up a whole heck of a lot of... Actually... I'm making this very complicated for myself here. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to craft up a lot of conveyors and pumps, which aren't the pumps. Now that we have the extruder, the pumps are actually a lot easier. Um, it was the rotors that was the pain issue with that. But uh, yeah. So that. So I'm going to have a whole bunch of these. We're going to feed in wood and then we're going to get out charcoal obviously and then we're going to feed the charcoal into some boilers and we're going to do the railcraft boilers so there's going to be two we're going to have two boilers one solid fuel and one liquid fueled now this is just going to require a lot of going to require a lot of resources here but they're very basic resources it's just iron copper tin and uh iron topper tin and rubber basically so really easy stuff to get i'm just gonna have to spend quite a bit of time so unfortunately this is gonna be kind of like eh, sort of like a part one of two um but i'm going to finish all the coke ovens in between episodes I'm going to get some of these boilers crafted up. Um, at least... Yeah, I'll probably do... I'll probably... I want to do a max size eventually, I think. Just because. So I'm going to do at least a 3x3 three three and then we can... Uh, make the thing on top all 
I'm just trying to, let me see, so three by, it's got to be at least six on top or nine on top. Yeah, maybe not go so crazy at first because we don't really need it. Um, but I do want to make them so we can expand easily. So as we craft up more Coke ovens, question is, do we want to do a third? Yeah, I think that will work. Well, we have to do three anyway, if I want to get 24. Um, but after that, we can just keep going up farther and farther. I mean, if we have like something 100 tall, <laughs> that would look kind of cool, wouldn't it? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so like I said, I got a lot of crafting up here to do, a lot of farming of resources. And then we'll come back next episode and kind of see how we can get this all automated. And I do want to look into getting some wood automated as well. But anyway, that's going to be it for this episode, so thanks for watching, and have a good one.